we're going to start our reading lesson today, boys and girls. We're going to begin by looking at our success criteria. Today, we're going to keep learning about our government and how it helps our community. Today, you will have two goals. You will have a reading goal and a social studies focus goal. For your reading goal, you will ask questions to show that you understand a text. You will also answer questions to show that you understand a text. Remember, your level two will show you some important vocabulary that will be helpful for you with this specific goal. For social studies, you will be discussing the reasons that governments are needed and you will identify goods and services that governments provide. These will be the focus of the questions that you are being asked and the questions that you are answering in today's lesson. Take some time to discuss these important vocabulary words with your class. Today, boys and girls, we're going to talk more about our government. We know the government is the system and the people who make the rules in a community. We have learned about lots of different vocabulary words like equality, like our rights as people. So today we're gonna to talk more about why. Why do we need the government? When our country was established, the people agreed that we needed to create a government. Our question today is why? We're going to begin with the video and I want you thinking about that question word, why? Why do you think we need government? Our question of focus today is why do we need the government? Remember, the government is the system and people who make the rules in a community. Today, we're going to take a look at a small section of text from an epic book. Then you will watch a video and discuss with your class the reasons that you hear for why the government is needed. Please follow along with your eyes as we begin reading here at A Good Government. One person can do great things, but when people work together, they can do even bigger things. A good government helps people work and live together. It keeps people safe and it makes the laws that help a country run smoothly. There are different types of government. The United States government is a democracy. This means that United States citizens vote for or choose their leaders. Citizens are people who belong to a country. The first job you have is going to be talking about this text in a breakout room. You are going to be sharing what you understand about this text. We're going to listen to this text one more time and I want you thinking about the question why. Why do we need a government? What does the government do for the people in our country? Students are listening and thinking about the question, be ready to share out one thing you hear in the video. Our question of focus today is why do we need the government? Remember, the government is the system mm -hmm. and people who make the rules in a community. Today, we're going to take a look at a small section of text from an epic book. Then you will watch a video and discuss with your class the reasons that you hear for why the government is needed. Please follow along with your eyes as we begin reading here at A Good Government. One person can do great things, but when people work together, they can do even bigger things. A good government helps people work and live together. It keeps people safe, and it makes the laws that help a country run smoothly. There are different types of government. The United States government is a democracy. This means that United States citizens vote for or choose their leaders. Citizens are people who belong to a country. 
I'm going to put you into a breakout room and I want you to share with your group one thing you heard and understood about why we need government. What does the government do for the people? Let's start with Gloria sharing out why do we need the government? They make laws. Thank you, Gloria. Who can add on to Gloria's opinion? Why do we have the government? What's the purpose of the government? Theo, go ahead. Freedom. Thank you, Theo. We talked about how we have freedom in our country. Part of freedom is having a democracy where the people get to vote and choose our leaders. I heard that too, Theo, in the text. Angela, why do we need the government? What's the purpose of the government? Um, they make rules. Yes, we have learned about how the government is the people and the system who make the rules. Just like Gloria shared, we call those rules the laws. Who else can share? Landon, did you want to share? All right, we'll come back to Landon. No, I didn't want to share. I actually didn't really put on my hand. Okay, no problem, Landon. Thank you, buddy, for sharing. All right, we are now going to watch another video. We are focusing our attention. That means you're sitting up tall. You are listening, looking, and thinking. We're going to think more about the purpose, why we have the government. I'm so glad that you got to talk with your group about why do we have government. And we're going to watch another video that's really going to help us. Today, we are going to learn about the purpose of government. Governments are formed to keep people safe and to help people work together. The government does that by making laws. Laws are rules made by the government to keep people safe and to help people work together. You see, laws are the way governments fulfill their purpose to keep people safe and to help people work together. Some laws you might know. What about this one? You must not cross the road when the light is red. This is an important law because it keeps people safe. It keeps people safe and that's one of the main purposes of government is to keep people safe. If you cross the road when the light is red, you can get hurt. So they set up a law. You must not cross the road when the light is red. What about this law? You must not drive faster than the speed limit. This is a law the government set up because it wanted to help keep people safe and help people work together. When you drive faster than the speed limit, you can hurt yourself and you can hurt other people. It's not safe. Now, it also doesn't help people work together because when you're on the road with other drivers, you're working together to get to where you need to go and you need everyone to follow the laws. You must not drive faster than the speed limit is a law because it keeps people safe and it helps people work together. Here's one I'm sure that you know. You must not steal things. This is a law that's very important because it keeps people's possessions safe. 
and it helps people work together. You can't work together and help other people if you're taking things that belong to them. That is why the government has a very important law that you must not steal things. When you steal things, it hurts other people, it doesn't keep people safe, and it doesn't help people work together. The purpose of government is to keep people safe and to help people work together. We have just heard more information about the purpose of the government. We heard two big reasons why we have government or the purpose of the government. We're going to record these two reasons together. I would like for all students to join me on Seesaw. You may push activities, assign to class folder, and we are in our red Rojo ELA folder. Our task today is our question. Why is the government needed? Go ahead and open that up, please, to be ready to work together with your class. Slide one, we have already done together. It is our success criteria. Slide two was the first text we listened to about why we need the government. We are beginning on slide three together. Slide three asks us to watch the first few minutes about what the government does. So it asks us to think about why the government is there. What's the purpose? We heard two big purposes. I'm going to underline these purposes in red on my screen. The government does that by making laws. It says laws are rules made by the government to keep people safe and to help people work together. There are two main purposes. There are two main reasons why we have government. Number one, we want to keep people safe. Number two, we want to help people work together. Go ahead and underline your two purposes just like I have. In the video, we heard some examples of how the government does this. We know the government makes laws. They make the rules. They do this so that we can be safe and we can work together. We heard some examples in the video of how the government does this. Think back to the video to some of the laws it discussed. What was an example of a law the government made to keep us safe? and to keep us working together. Who can think back to the video and remember one of the laws or rules it mentioned in the video? In the video, I remember a very important law that keeps people safe. I remember the video discussing not to cross the road when the light is red. I remember the video talking about this is an example of a law that keeps people safe. We are not allowed to cross the road when the light is red. Gloria, go ahead. To not um, speed over the speed limit. Oh, Gloria remembers the second one. 
This is one example. Gloria remembers a second example that you should not speed over the speed limit when you are driving a car. We don't want drivers going too fast. We want them to be safe. And we need all the drivers on the roads to work together. That's why we have laws about how you can drive, where you can drive on the road, when you're supposed to stop, when you're supposed to go. These are all examples of ways the government keeps us safe. We're just going to list one example today, boys and girls. We're going to type one example. Can anybody remember the third example of a law that the video mentioned? Not to cross the road when it's not safe, not to speed over the speed limit. Theo, what do you remember about the third example? No stealing. No stealing. I remember a silly picture of the cat and the pizza. We cannot steal, that is a law. It keeps us safe. It keeps things that belong to us safe. Like I don't want anybody stealing my phone. I want my possession to be safe. And it helps us work together. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for sharing out. On slide number four, we are going to sort into two main categories. We know that the government has two main purposes, two reasons. One, people are safe. Two, people work together. Those are the two main purposes of the government. Number one, keep people safe. Number two, people work together. At the bottom, we have some rules and laws in our community, in our country. We are going to drag them and sort them into the correct category. So for each law or rule, I want you thinking to yourself, does this law keep people safe? Or does it help people work together? Sometimes it might do both. I'm going to put you into a breakout room. I want you to start moving these into the category that you think matches the purpose or the reason. I'm going to give you two minutes to work in a breakout room and then we will make sure we have them sorted correctly. Don't forget, you're thinking about two main reasons why we have the government to keep people safe, to help people work together. I saw really good work happening on our screens, boys and girls. I saw lots of you have almost all of them sorted into the two main purposes. Let's go ahead and check our work quickly before we move on. Drivers must follow the speed limit. I think that keeps people safe most of all. It also helps drivers work together. But I'm going to put it in the safe category. People can join work unions. I see the word work in there. So I know this one is talking about how people work together in our country. Keep parks clean. Hmm. I know that when something is dirty and with trash, it's not safe for us but people work together to keep it clean. This one might go in the middle. This one might be in the middle. It might keep people safe and help us work together. People can protest. Mm, we learned all about peaceful protesting. We know that protesting is when people gather to disagree. I know that this helps pe keep people safe from bad laws. Cars must stop at red lights. Hmm, 
I think that helps keep cars and people walking safe. New leaders are elected by voters. Well, when we all vote, we all work together. I'm gonna to put it with the work together. You must have permission to enter someone's house. I think that keeps our possessions safe and our bodies safe. If you have them in different places than me, that's okay. What I want you to learn today is that the government has two main purposes. Number one, keep people safe. Number two, we work together. Go ahead and check your work. And then we're going to move to slide number five. Now that we know the two purposes of the government, we know the government keeps us safe and helps us work together. Our next question is how? How does the government do that? Our question we're going to focus on is how does the government keep people safe and help them work together? Here are two new vocabulary words that I want you to focus on today. The first word is goods. Goods are items which can be touched or used. When the government gives us an item, something that we can use, we call it a good. Sometimes the government gives us other things. Number two, is called services. A service is a thing that is done for you. We are going to watch a video to think about these two words. As we watch, I want you thinking about goods, which are things that we can touch and use, or a service, when something is done for you. Think about how the government can give us goods and services as we watch our next video. But how does the government make sure people follow the laws? Police officers! Police officers make sure people follow the laws and catch people who don't. They also keep our communities safe and help people who are in trouble. Then, after they've been caught by the police, the court system helps decide if a person has broken a law and what the punishment should be. The purpose of government is to keep people safe and to help people work together. The government doesn't just write laws and enforce them. The government also provides many services. Services like fire departments. That's something the government runs because it helps keep people safe. It's part of the purpose of the government to keep people safe and that's why they provide the service of fire departments. The government also provides the postal service. The postal service is the way that we send letters and packages and all kinds of fun things and it helps us work together. That's part of the purpose of government is to help us work together and the postal service helps us do that. That's why the government provides that service. The government also provides the services of libraries. Libraries are very, very important. The government runs those because libraries teach us and we get knowledge. And with that knowledge, it helps us work together. That's why the government provides libraries. The government also provides public schools. 
this is very, very important because everyone has the right to learn. And when we learn and when we get an education, we are able to work together better, which is why the government provides schools. The government also provides the services of the military who protect us here and overseas. And it's very important for us to be safe. The government has to keep us safe. And the government does that through the service of brave men and women who serve in the military. All right, we have just heard lots of examples of services that the government provides. I heard things like the government provides public school so that all children can go to school. That's a service, that's something they do for the people. I heard things like the government provides the postal service so that we can mail letters. I heard things like the government provides police officers and firemen to keep us safe. These are all examples of services the government provides. Boys and girls, it's now time for us to talk about what your task is today. Go ahead and click on slide number seven with me, please. On slide number seven, it gives you some directions for your work today. It says on each slide, you will read the text. Two, you will answer the question in a complete sentence. You will highlight evidence that supports your answer. So let's take a peek at what that looks like. Go to slide number eight. I see a text for you to read. I see a place for you to answer the question in a complete sentence. That means you're checking for capital letters, words that make sense, and punctuation. And don't forget to highlight your evidence in the text. I will be taking a grade on these questions today on your answers today. Recently, I have been taking grades to see who is writing in a complete sentence. Are you checking for your capital letters? Are you checking that all of your words make sense? Are you using correct punctuation? I will be grading you on third grade sentences. Your work today is to complete slides eight, nine, 10, and 11. Today, you get to read about the services the government provides. Don't forget the government's main purpose is to keep us safe and to help us work together. You will answer questions on eight, nine, 10, and 11, finding text evidence in the text, and answering in a complete sentence. When you get done, you can reflect on our goal today. Were you able to discuss the reasons governments are needed and identify some goods and services that governments provide. You can record or type about your success today. When you are done, you will push the green check to submit your work. 